In today's video, we are going to talk about what exactly Adobe XD is. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm very excited, I feel like I have never really sat down and discussed Adobe XD and what exactly it is, why I like to use it as a tool in my business, and yeah, just a breakdown on what exactly it is, when you should use it, if it's worth it, and everything that has to do with Adobe XD I'm gonna talk about today. So first off, Adobe XD is a platform that allows me to prototype websites, to make it very, very aesthetic and easy for the client to see the, how the website's gonna look when it's fully built out. But the reason that I love to use Adobe XD before I develop a whole website is because I can design so, so fast on it and it's so easy to make changes and edits without having to go in there and change an entire section that you just developed or maybe there was some CSS code involved and you would have to go and change all of that code to make it match those new edits. So for me, I like to use it because I can easily change things before the development process so that's my explanation of it but i did want to share with you guys adobe's explanation of adobe xt and how they explain it because i feel like it always helps to kind of hear the creators of it and what they explain it as so this is from adobe itself adobe xt helps you craft prototypes that look and feel like the real thing so you can communicate your design vision and maintain alignment across your team efficiently Adobe XD is a powerful, easy to use, vector-based experience design platform that gives teams the tools they need to craft the world's best experiences collaboratively. So that's kind of a long explanation, but some of the things I pull from that is number one, it helps prototype. Number two, it helps communication, which I'll get into. And also it just gives a very easy design experience. It's not as complicated as like an Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or InDesign. It's much more simple. And also it allows you to create like, I love to use it especially for websites because I can add in all of my character styles, all of my color palettes and makes it a very seamless process to design a really awesome website. So honestly, if you are just a website designer, that um, wants to send prototypes to clients, you could technically just buy Adobe XD as your number one tool to use to prototype websites. And yeah, I really love it. So number one, I wanna explain this answer because I get this question a lot. And that is why, because from outside looking in, it kind of seems like I'm doing two steps. I'm designing it on Adobe XD and then designing it on WordPress using Divi. That's two steps. Really, it kind of sounds like, why would I do double work? But trust me, at the end of the day, it's so much easier to edit designs on Adobe XD, like I said, than it is to edit on WordPress directly. I also have a process in my business where I make sure the client like sends me a um, written email and a go ahead that the design is ready to be developed. As soon as I get that go ahead, I don't really allow a lot of back and forth revisions. Those three revisions that I allow on my contract are really just for that design process, not the development process, if that makes sense. So I, I like to actually, and this is something I've only done a few times, but I like to send a contract and have them sign it the second they approve a design. That way I don't have to go back and be like, kind of trying to figure out what was said and what wasn't. Um, because I have had it before where I didn't cover my butt in that way and we developed the website and then all of a sudden they want a page like restructured and different. So for me, I like to make it very clear that this is the design. If there's any edits you want to see, please send them now because once it's developed, there's not a whole lot of um, edits that can be allowed. Of course, I can do little color changes, little text changes, but restructuring the page is definitely going to cost more money. So I just like to make that very clear to my clients and for the most part it always works out and it's just a really seamless process also i have hired developers onto my team before like contracted developers where if i'm super busy 
it's so nice because I just get to do the creative part on Adobe XD, send my developer the Adobe XD file. They can download all of the vector files from it and develop it on their own. And they don't really need to come to me because it's all right there and it's super easy and also just takes um, some of the work off my back. That's another reason I use it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an amazing platform. I think it's really great too if you're not, like I said, experienced with a lot of those other Adobe programs. Um, it's a great one for website design and I love it for that. So I know in this explanation, they also mentioned communication. That's another thing I love about it. You can actually have your clients write comments on the Adobe XD link that you send them. And that just allows you to get feedback on those exact areas that maybe they're referencing. And um, it just makes it easy to, to receive communication and some feedback from them. It does take a little bit of teaching sometimes with your clients because I've noticed like the bottom arrow on my Adobe XD designs, it's hard to see that. And then they don't know that there's more than one page they're looking at. So I like to send over a video walkthrough of what this link is from Adobe XD so that they know how to view it and how to edit it and my thought process behind the design. So that was a lot of talking, but I really wanted to explain why I really use this because I feel like I feel like I've gotten so many questions on like, why aren't you just building it directly on WordPress? And like I said, it can be a lot of extra work if they want it restructured. And it kind of gives them like a different perspective, like a kind of like wide angle view of what the website's gonna look like before it's completely just like built out and up there. And I prefer doing it that way because I wanna focus a lot on the aesthetics and how it visually looks. Of course, the function and the optimization is very important but um, that's why I love having some amazing developers on my team that I can kind of lean on to do that part for me. So that is a little bit about Adobe XD. Um, I feel like that's the main things I wanted to go over. Um, just one other thing that I love about it is that I can, um, like I said, send them a link that shows them the actual sizing of the website. So it's not just like a PNG or PDF mockup. It's like a legit link so they can see like the, um, scale of everything just as if it is a website i love that part i also love the fact that i can export optimized images from it which is really really helpful because um on a website you want your images to be compressed enough to not weigh it down and adobe xd makes it really easy to do that especially if you um export it for development purposes you can download all those images directly from your adobe xd link so I really recommend playing around with this program. It's really, really nice and it's really helped me in my web design process and I love it. So I wanted to talk about it today and share that with you guys, but I am currently working on my website design course. It's really coming together. I'm going to be diving really deep into Adobe XD on that course and also development on WordPress. So be sure to subscribe and follow me on my other platforms so you know when I launch that course. It's definitely going to be next month. I just don't have the exact date yet, but um, please follow me so that you can find out that date because it's going to be coming up really quick and I'm so excited about it. So thank you guys so much. Um, I really hope this was helpful. Let me know down below if you have any other questions and I will see you guys in my next video.